I found the best blitz and base defense in Madden 23, and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Looking for Madden 23 Ultimate Team Coins? AOEAH.com has the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Click the link in the description and use coupon code SPORTS for 3% off your order. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com, and in today's Madden 23 tip video, I got the best blitz and base defense in the game. It's the easiest setup you're gonna find. It only makes you rush four players. You get really good pressure. You can play coverage, you can stop the run. You can do everything you need to do with one easy adjustment. So this is gonna be a great defense to run for any level player because it's so easy to use. You don't need any specific abilities so it can work in any game mode. And it's out of the nickel 3-3 and we're gonna be looking at the play Tampa 2. So guys, if you like easy, easy blitzes with good pressure, good coverage, this is the defense for you. This 3-3 is found in a few different books. I really like the 4-6 and the Chiefs playbook this year. That's just me. So when running this, you want to make sure you have a fast slot corner. Actually perfect right here. We got Jackson. He's, um, or we can, excuse me, we can sub Jackson in on the Panthers. He's actually really fast. So that'll be perfect in the slot. Um, you do want to have some fast D linemen because sometimes they will get disengagements and you know that is something I look at especially at the DNs. Now in this formation you can sub your safeties in at linebacker. The, the user is going to be actually the inside linebacker so I put your best user defender there for best results. Now as far as your coaching adjustments go, I leave auto flip on because I want to get this nickel corner Basically on the strong side of the offensive formation because most of the time, say they're running bunch or whatever, that will put him opposite the running back, which will make this blitz harder to block. Then I like to have my auto alignment on base. This just allows the defense again to get set up easier, to have the, the corner in the proper position to come free. And it past that for your zone drops, you can mess around with these depending upon how you want to run it. Personally, like what I like to do is flats on 25 curl flats on five, and hooks on 10. So that's kind of how I go about it when I run this Tampa 2 defense. And I'm going to show you guys a few different examples against different formations. Let's start with this bunch offset. So guys, I'm going to move the ball back a little bit, just get some space. And as I do that, as a reminder, I do free Madden 23 tip videos, gameplays, and news on my channel. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button. If we can get over 300 likes on this video, we'll post another great defense for you guys for free on my channel. And comment, literally any comment, one word, an emoji, anything will help. So there's like literally just one adjustment you really need to do, which is to spread out your D-line and press your coverage. So you guys can see here, that can be done instantaneously. There's no way that the offense is going to be able to snap the ball before you can do that. The player I user is going to be this inside linebacker. And I kind of just stand over the D-tackle, just like this, kind of on his hip. Um, this is going to help me out with run defense, but it also makes the O-line have to pay attention to me. They look in towards me when the ball snap, which then allows that outside corner to come off the edge very easily. So let's just take a look at this blitz right here. Um, and you're going to use it in the middle of the field yourself. As you guys can see here, the guy just screams off the edge. If you're enjoying my free YouTube content, I highly recommend checking out sportsgamers.com. This is where I post all my premium content for Madden 23. I have offensive and defensive ebooks, schemes, plus I do four to six premium tips every week in the Madden Ball to keep you guys ahead of the game. Our best offer yet is the Sports Gamers Madden VIP membership. This is the best Madden membership anywhere on the net, the best content at the best price. You get access to the entire site for only $24.99. This means all of our ebooks, all of our Madden Ball tips, plus you even get access to our meta reports and our exclusive VIP members only community. I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well for you guys that are interested in that. See you at sportsgamers.com. If you're serious about winning more games, I will post a link in the description as well as in the comments. Super fast. Only having to rush four defenders. You can't get much better than that. And it even works when they block the running back. Um, if they're just going to block the running back, it's still going to come free. So I'm going to show you guys that in a second here, but take a look at how it works. See off the right edge, Jackson just comes in completely free. For the sack, you cover the middle, take away the first read. They don't have anywhere to go. So this time I will keep the running back in. Again, we just press our coverage. Coverage, audible, triangle, down on the left stick, spread our D-line out. And that's it. <clears throat> I just, again, make sure I use this guy over to D-tackle. And I cover the middle of the field myself. Now, guys, 
as far as some different adjustments you could do to your coverage, um, you could individually back up your corners in the flat zones. That just because their zone dropped to 25, that will you know kind of help out if they run corner routes, which I'll show in a second here. If they were throwing to an actual flat, you could do a little concept like this where you you know put this guy in a curl flat so that it takes away uh, the quick flat too. But you know we're not gonna worry about that too much here because they're not throwing to the flat. But you know because we have our zone drops for curl flats on five. If they were throwing to the flat, just throw a curl flat out there. Anyways, as you guys can see here, we have the running back blocked. And this setup is still going to get pressure off that edge, as you guys can see here. He's able to get in. And unless you're going to be using an ID, the mic feature, to make sure the running back actually blocks the running back. I'm sorry, the running back actually picks up the slot corner. He's still going to get around, as you guys can see here. He still comes around, even with the running back blocked. Um, he's, you know, he's not getting picked up. And we force an inaccurate throw. Could have easily been an interception. So as the user here, remember guys, I'm not playing right now because I'm in practice mode. But in a game situation, my user, I'm taking away the middle of the field the first read. So like I would keep guarding this crossing route and there'd be nothing open here. But as you guys can see here again, look, the running back, he's unable to pick him up. We get the sack or the force the quick throw. <clears throat> now this splits will work against, you know, any sort of formation. It's not just bunch. We'll show a few different combinations of uh, different looks. So here, like a spread out look, it's gonna still work. So again, all we do is press our coverage, spread out our D-line, and just use her, this guy. Again, guys, you could see that because I have auto flip on, generally speaking against gun formations, your nickel back will be on the opposite side of the screen as the running back, right? Which is gonna make this blitz really, 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 really difficult for them to pick up. I mean, they're going to have to, like I said, block the running back, use slide protection and ID the mic to slow it down, which the average player honestly doesn't do, right? The average player is either coming to the line and snapping or maybe just blocking the running back, which is not good enough. Um, another thing about this is, as I said before, if they're running corner routes, this is actually a really good defense to use to stop corner routes. Um, like your simple bench concept like we could show here. Uh, let's take a look. Um, we'll do it from actually bunch, though. But in any play of a corner route, like we could just use C spot, right? So you guys can see here, again, we just press spread our D line out. Now, past that though, you can make coverage adjustments, like back the corner up in the cloud flat, throw your curl flat out there, and then just use it in the middle field yourself. This is gonna defend anyone who tries to run like a corner flat concept really well. Um, I'm gonna motion this guy out, put him on a streak. And you guys will notice that the cloud flat, he's going to play the corner out the whole time. All I have to do is just stay over the middle of the field to take away anything over the middle. But as you guys have noticed, there's nothing open. We're able to take away both the corner and the quick flat route with this simple adjustment to individually back up the cloud flat at a 25-yard zone drop. He stays underneath the corner route, even with the streak that's designed to pull a lot of zone defenders away. He's not getting pulled away. You guys can see he's just waiting. Bam. Um, then we have the curl flat at five to defend any quick flat. As you guys can see, that's covered very well. We get the pressure off the edge. I guard the middle. There's nothing open sack, right? Really, really good defense. So let's just look at this against one more formation. Um, we can look at it against the trips offset. Now I do want to tell you guys, I have a full scheme out of this formation on sportsgamers.com for VIP members. There's much more to it than this. This is just something very basic that's so good. But if you want the full scheme, the advanced setups, check out sportsgamers.com, become a VIP member. Link is in the description and the comments. You get everything on our site. We got over 10 eBooks. We do weekly tips. You get all that for $24.99. There's no better deal, no better content available you're gonna find anywhere. Anyways, last formation I wanna look at was the trips look, again, your whole responsibility as a user is to defend the middle of the field. But once again, you guys can see, we're able to get that quick pressure off the edge. We try to throw the crossing route. We can't even get it off against sack. This is a very easy defense to adjust from, even if they know how to ID the mic to pick up the slot corner. There's other setups that we can use to, to kind of like still get pressure no matter what they do. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you smash that like button. Until next time, it's Duke. And I'm out of here.